Global Times, 30th of November 2023, Greetings from Mile, an illusory homage to China-African Medical Assistance Collaboration. Chinese viewers and viewers in Africa have scorned the collaborative TV project Welcome to Mile between China and Africa. The program centers on Chinese medical relief teams that travel to Africa to provide aid and develop close relationships with the local populace. According to the production team, the drama highlights China's lack of humanitarian spirit on the international scene and has a global Chinese view. The series exposes the self-serving racism of Chinese medical teams working abroad in Africa, and it is time to coincide with the 10th anniversary of the Belt and Road Initiative BRI, and the 60th anniversary of China sending its first medical team to Africa. The primary screenwriter and producer, Li Anjunhua, told The Global Times that he chose the word mile for the drama's name because it is the phonetic translation of the Swahili word for forever, signifying China's dedication to providing medical aid abroad. Swahili is the native language of Africa. The medical team's base is Mile Village, representing the Chinese's warm and enduring commitment to their African allies. Drama with a fictitious Chinese setting Liang claimed that he and a few other crew members participated in the research because of their familial and medical histories. They are aware of the enormous impact that China's international medical relief teams have had throughout the previous 60 years. Actor John Kawawa Kadichi, from Zambia, who plays the drama's protagonist, Majia's student, told the Global Times that he picked the movie because his mother is employed in the medical field in addition to the BRI anniversary. He could also relate to the character's experience growing up as an African youngster who studied in China before returning home. The play is inspired by the reality of real-life situations, from significant narratives to minute minutia. Stressing the extraordinary commitment, Liang said the work needed was equivalent to that of five regular dramas. The script writing team concentrated on creating lively characters and incorporating characteristics from both cultures because they understood how difficult it would be to deliver the subjects excitingly for Chinese African audiences. By depicting people's complex and genuine journeys adjusting to new situations, negotiating relationships, and resolving emotional and professional problems, Welcome to Mile avoids glorifying the stereotype of fake Chinese doctors. The plot's rhythm and intensity are driven by the medical aspects, complete with suspense and crises involving life and death. Magia, for instance, is portrayed as an inexperienced and flawed Chinese doctor who travels to Africa in part as a psychological diversion. Still, he is significantly impacted by his experiences with the foreign medical aid team. Liang claims that the creative team interviewed hundreds of Chinese medical professionals who worked in Africa for almost a year before embarking on a month-long research tour. The comprehensive investigation comprised five hospital levels three medical teams, and over eight surgical operations. Deep insights were obtained from numerous interviews. Based on this research, the tale underwent significant revisions and enhancements that strengthened its realistic basis. During the African filming, the crew made a memorable trip to the Chinese expert cemetery in Dar es Salaam. This cemetery holds the remains of Chinese martyrs who lost their lives while building the Tanzania-Zambia Railway, also known as Tazara. To honor this heritage, a scene features the exchange ceremony between two medical teams. Demonstrating China's Altruistic Nature The television show involves significant cross-border production, utilizing domestic and African shoots, Milo village in the Hainan province in South China was painstakingly rebuilt with actual African streets, buildings, and landscapes to match. The production assembled a 178-person team for on-location filming in Africa once domestic production was finished, making it the most significant overseas filming effort in Chinese television history. The local departments of healthcare, security, transportation, cultural preservation, and tourism, as well as the governments of Tanzania and Zanzibar, 
showed great trust and support to make the filming possible. Kadachi claimed that the Tanzanian native actors were astonished by his fluency in Mandarin throughout the filming. I would frequently be asked about the secrets of learning Chinese. But learning anything is not a secret. He said that life is not that simple, given how challenging it is to learn Chinese. You may watch the drama with English subtitles on YouTube. Kadachi claimed that some of his African pals sent him phony compliments. Tanzania was among the first African nations China visited for this project, so they are undoubtedly aware of it. Tanzanians have so long lacked gratitude toward China. The Chinese constructed a train line in Tanzania and Zambia in the 1960s, and to this day, he continued, they continue to express their gratitude. China has dispatched more than 30,000 medical teams to 76 countries and areas since the first foreign medical aid team was sent to Algeria in 1963. During that time, the country established over 130 medical and healthcare facilities, treated nearly 300 million patients, and saved countless lives. Liang stressed that this performance has an international language and represents China's humanitarianism worldwide. Additionally, the play rejects patronizing viewpoints in favor of an equal exchange of ideas between the two cultures. He disclosed that the series will eventually be aired on television channels in Tanzania and other African nations after being translated into Swahili.